OK, so on this one, what we're trying to do is find the legs. Um, this is off of page 101. Yeah, this is off page 101, number two. Um, so what we want to do is when we're looking at this, one thing we notice is we have a 90 degree angle, Tyler, and a 45 degree angle. So now, to go from this, we know that the other angle has to be 45. So what that creates is what we call a 45, 45, 90 triangle, which we call using our special right triangles. And if you guys remember, when we talked about this, we used, we used this to discuss the relationships between our side lengths when we have a special right triangle. And what we talked about was if we had the leg, one leg was x, on a 45, 45, 90 triangle, let's please write this down, um, then the other leg has to be exactly the same. And if I want to find the length of the hypotenuse, then all I simply need to do is go ahead and multiply it by the square root of 2. Okay, So in this case, we look at the triangle we have. Unfortunately, we don't have what actually the length is of the side. The only thing we have is the length of the hypotenuse. So we have to actually start thinking about this and saying, OK, if I know the leg, Brandon, to go from the leg to the hypotenuse, I need to multiply by the square root of 2. So if I have the hypotenuse and I want to go back to the leg, instead of multiplying, I would have to divide by the square root of 2. So x is going to equal 17 divided by the square root of 2. But we have to be careful because we're going to not want to leave our answer like that. We're going to want to rationalize the denominator. So again, to do that, oh, and if that's 17 divided by the square root of 2, this is 17 divided by the square root of 2. But to write our answer correct, to write our answer with not an irrational number in the denominator, we'll multiply by the square root of 2 on the top and the bottom. And therefore, we get 17 square root of 2 over 2. Okay? And that should be your answer for both of those legs.